We've got mist. Just looks spectacular. And this is where the stress starts because you know that you need to be on your A game to make the most of the situation. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna as I say, I've got my Hasselblad, I've got the um, 645 back on it, so I'm not going square at the moment, I'm just going off square. And um, I've got my 80mm lens and my 150. I think I'm gonna start having a look around with the, 180, uh, with the 80mm lens first. But. Wow, gorgeous man, look at this. Fortune favours the fool who gets out of bed at half past five in the morning. I've got no time to waste here. I'm gonna start with the 80, but I might well end up using the um, 150 as well on the same shot two different crops so I've stuck the polarizer on so I've had to um, account for another stop and two-thirds of light I've got EV 9.2 off of the brightest piece of the sky it's gonna push that up above middle grade by one stop and try that that gives me f16 half a second. So I've just noticed that there's been a significant change in my circumstances. While I've been sitting here waiting for the sun, the tide's gone out. I just looked through the um, prism and thought, it just looks crap. Why does it look crap now? The water's gone. So I'm gonna have to change, change lens and change, um, change my picture, change my uh, composition. So that shot I metered for the sky and the foreground is going to be very, very dark. When I was here the other day, the trees over to that side just lit up as the sun come up and it looked magnificent. So that's one of the reasons I'm here. Really, I've just wanted to get a couple of shots this way and then uh, when it gets brighter, I'm going to point my camera that way and take a few shots of the uh, of the trees all gold and that's the plan hopefully we'll keep the mist as well that would just look brilliant um, i'm gonna have a quick stab at metering the foreground a little bit more and then sticking a graduated filter on to protect the uh, sky a little bit just give it one one shot like that so the sky's up at um zone eight and I'm pulling that back down again with that filter it's just I'm not a pro just for the record anything but ah f16 half a second isn't it f16 half a second f16 half a second that's better Boom! Right. Let's move.
I just shot this one. Just looks stunning. So I actually uh, bracketed this one. I didn't want to take any chances. So my first exposure was F16 half a second. And then I bracketed half a stop either side of that, just to, just to cover my ass. So I, I didn't manage to use all the roll. I've still got a few shots left. I think I'm gonna hold on to them and uh, not worry about posting the film off today. I'll do it tomorrow or something like that. Anyway, this might be the end of the video and it might not. So I'll say thank you now and I might see you in a minute.